I'm Christina Warren with Mashable, and we are here with Visa looking at their mobile payment systems. I'm here with John White, who is the head of marketing for mobile alliances for Visa Europe. Um, John, why don't you tell us, uh, you have some exciting news to announce today. Why don't you uh, let us know what, what's going on? What, what can you share with us? Okay, so what we're announcing today is a global agreement with Samsung. We'll be able to uh, put in place some Visa technology that will be pre-installed on these handsets, meaning that a bank or a financial institution a mobile operator or someone else like that can take advantage of the technology that's inside Samsung's next generation phones and build on that technology to provide an application, be it a banking service or an app or, an app or something like that, that will enable a consumer to take a Samsung handset and use it to tap and make payments at retailers. Awesome. So why don't you show us how you can tap and make payments? Okay, so what I've got here is a, is a Samsung Galaxy S3. And here we have a vending machine, so that you'll see in a swimming pool on the high street, lots of different places. Now this vending machine is enabled for our contactless payments technology, as you can see indicated by the symbol here. So on my phone, I've downloaded an app. I want a bottle of water. I press go. I select my item. And I'm asked to present my card uh, to the machine, and it tells me the price. So I take the phone and I touch it to the reader. The machine confirms the transaction. That's been approved. And out pops my water. Now here on the phone, what you can see there is what a mobile payment service gives you. And you can see straight away it's popped up and told me the amount of my transaction. And we can do some pretty neat stuff straight away. We can click on this menu to see a list of our recent transactions and then equally we can do pretty neat stuff like pull up this chart here so if you look here uh, we have a spend tracker icon a consumer can take a mobile payment service like this and use it to track uh, the type of items they've bought in different retailers. I can do neat things like custom label the spends I've done. Um, I could perhaps share this with a social network if I was so inclined and so forth. But what you're seeing here is, is the kind of new possibilities that mobile payment services open up to consumers. This is a really big deal because in the mobile payment space, there's been a lot of debate over who controls the secure element. Google has really wanted to get in that space with Google Wallet, uh, but that's come under pressure from a lot of the, the payment systems as well as the carriers in the United States, and they haven't really had any traction internationally. Visa has a really well-established network um, internationally. In Europe, they're um, going to be on 40-plus payment uh, providers by the end of the year. And so the fact that they are powering this system for Samsung, and it's going to be international, meaning that when it comes to the U.S., it will be on uh, the ISIS, uh, the consortium powered by, the tele by all the different carriers, means that mobile payments will actually be a usable reality in the United States and around the world when you buy your phone from Samsung. That's a really big deal. So it's exciting and we hope to see uh, mobile payments really take off in 2013 and in the future.